also, I don't think he's fought anybody with uh, great jujitsu like Michael Stevens. Uh, definitely excited. I think that the uh, fight could go either way. Okay. Um, Dwan Owens and Cole Howe. What can I say? Cole 45 Howe. Uh, he's been the man at 155 since he started with the league and uh, been uh, very loyal to, to us. And I definitely appreciate that. Nobody's uh, been able to take the man down. Just when you think he's out, he comes back and uh, ground and pound, and it's over. But um, Dwan Owens, I know he's uh, a lot of people, when, we, when I first lined this fight up, they, they kind of questioned his ability to uh, go up against a wrestler. And uh, he, he started training with a, uh, a, a good wrestling coach. I lined him up some great fights with some uh, good wrestlers. He's dominated them, so he's definitely uh, stepped up his game. And uh, I think he's ready. I, I, be, now people know that. Uh, you know, Dwan Owens coming off a, a three-win uh, uh, fight streak. So uh, now there's questions. This, this fight could go either way as well. It's going to be a great fight. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing them fight. All right, coming up now, Mr. Sean Winchester versus Austin Hyatt. Sean coming in with an 0-0 record, standing 5'7". Austin Hyatt coming in on a 1-1, one one, standing 5'8". Good. Mr. Austin Hyatt seems to be uh, the more stacked of the two, coming out with the Muay Thai trunks. I tell you what, I don't know if uh, you, know, you remember the fight in uh, Charlotte, November 21st. Mr. Austin Hyde actually won fight of the night, so he's uh, he's no joke and excited fighter to watch. He's uh, just full blast, nonstop the entire round. The both fighters seem to, uh, to come out and bring it. Mr. Sean is uh, Sean Winchester is actually uh, fighting from uh, conflict fighting in uh, South Carolina. Heard some great things about him. Uh, anytime these guys call me and say hey, I got a fighter, you know they're going to bring it. So. Uh, He's making his debut, so you know he's hungry. So uh, definitely going to be an interesting fight. This son is really wearing the inside leg with these uh, knees. Tell you what, a lot of people may not uh, know this, but they may look at those little knees to the thigh and think that's not any damage. But uh, get hit by one of them, and, and yeah. you know it. You feel it. Oh, yeah. The, the immediate effect of it is uh, not quite as bad as the long-term effect. It, you start taking a fighter's legs out from underneath him, and uh, you really take uh, his livelihood out of it. Oh, absolutely. If you can't stand, you can't fight. That is very true. Both these fighters are coming out, swinging for the fences. They've been a uh, good takedown by Mr. Sean, who was reversed by Mr. Uh, Hyatt. Hyde is uh, as Mr. Uh, Sean in his uh, half guard. Sean is doing a good job of keeping Mr. Hot flattened out, not allowing uh, Austin to move around. Uh, top man is going to have to be careful to watch out for a foot lock right here. I was fixing to tell you, you better watch out. That's how old Brock Lesnar got caught. Uh, these, uh, your foot locks are uh, a very weak point in your body because not only does it affect your ankle, but it affects your knee too. All uh, right, this could be. Very dangerous move to get caught in. He better be careful. Yes. Uh, the way he needs to avoid this is really straighten his leg up and kind of frog hop out of this. Otherwise, it doesn't really seem that he's trying to. Hmm. All right, the table's turned once again. That was going to step over his back and take, uh, take his back. I think this Excellent first round, a lot of action being shown. In order to be successful, you've got to have great fights, uh, great matchups. These fighters, like I said, you know, they make a lot of sacrifices to be here. Uh, I just look to, to give them a, a, a fair shot, a fair fight show off their skills and uh, go from there, try and develop a, uh, a good uh, fan base. And uh, you know, you do people right and we'll, be, we'll uh, uh, eventually uh, grow and get to where we want to be. Very good. Yeah, we have a uh, injury timeout and a 
accidental low blow. And uh, three and a low blow, the uh, fighter is allowed up for five minutes just to uh, kind of regroup. Mr. Hot seems to be uh, seems to be okay, ready to go back at it. Uh, like I said, accidentally. Okay. Austin really coming out throwing hard. So is Sean. Well, they exchange him well. These guys are hungry. They want it. Yeah, slip by Sean and Austin is going to capitalize on this. Sean is doing a good job. Keeping uh, Austin pressed up off of him. Austin is just kind of stalking Sean down. Trying to wait for that one big punch. He needs to be careful not to keep his hands uh, down below his waist. A good shot by Sean. Good right hand. It's two right hands. And getting a hit in the jaw like that really takes uh, a little middle two to keep pressing forward like that. Absolutely. You definitely have to keep your hands up, man. You drop them one second, and it could be lights out. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the sport so interesting, so exciting. It's one slip, and it's. Austin doing a good job. Austin really needs to keep his hands up. Sean's getting that right hand to slip through just about every time. But Austin keeps pressing forward. Another good right hand by Sean. These guys have a lot oh, of heart. Trying for a spinning back fist by Sean. Good right hand by both gentlemen. Austin just tossing Sean to the ground. Austin now in a full mount position. This could be bad for Sean Winchester. Austin pinning his arm down, not allowing him to escape. Sean needs to be careful by turning over, give his back up. Now, whenever you're mounted and you turn over and you give your back up, you always risk the possibility for a rear naked choke. And you know what's coming once you get there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> either way, you're on a catch 22. You stay there, you get hit in the face, you turn over, you get possibly choked. Absolutely. Austin has both hooks in. Five Sean's trying to up. scrum out now. I believe Austin's got this hooked up. And Austin wins by rear naked choke. Excellent five to both gentlemen. Austin Hyde now proving his record to a two and one. Sean Winchester an zero oh and one. Mr. Dale Fry doing a great night, uh, a great job tonight. I don't know if many people know this. Uh, Dale Fry has been in several uh, movies, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Been in the business a long time. Uh, professional kickboxer back in his time. Actually uh, refereed a lot of my fights back in the day. So uh, he's uh, definitely one of the best in the business. He's doing a great job tonight. Yeah, he does, uh, he does a very good job of keeping the fighters safe and really uh, kind of letting the fighters fight it out, but at the same time keeping a close eye on everything. He, he knows exactly how far to uh, to let it go, and like I said, that comes with experience. He's been there, been, been there himself and uh, couldn't ask for a better ref. So where would, uh, where would you like to see your organization go in the future? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I'm always looking for new ways to uh, uh, some of the best amateurs. All right, man, that was a big victory and, uh, right there. You uh, came out the tie trunks, but you still have we ground game. That was really impressive. You work a lot on that uh, choke right there? Yes, sir. I mean, that's a basic choke we work on all the time. I wanted to do more stand-up, but I just didn't let my hands go tonight. I knew I could take him down. He was getting tired in the second round, so I just took him down, went ahead and finished it. Yeah, it was a really nice fight. You guys were slugging. You seem to be getting better at the stand up there. I thought maybe you were going to finish him standing up, but uh, is that what you were really looking for that, weren't you? I got a hard head and I can take it. I kind of smiled at him for a little bit, but yeah, he can hit pretty hard. All props to him, definitely. You guys put on a great show. You had a great fight, man. We hope to see you again. Thank you.